um, I believe that to where I am now is because of my past. If my past was not the way I just mentioned it, I don't think that today that I would be here. So meaning by the grace of God, um, I can say that out of what I have experienced, it's easy for me to approach someone that's still in that level of thinking and seeing the life as it is. Yeah, but I mean, it's, you will never feel happy to, to find yourself being a choose of a murder. You see, I mean, that's something that um, stick into your heart for the rest of your life. You see, but fortunately, we are, uh, are serving the living God, whereby the Bible says that if you um, throw everything, meaning your, 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 your packages, into him, he's the one that will um, clarify um, everything that you have committed. So, yep. To me, I think for, for me to, stand, to spend 10 years in prison, that was um, the way of molding the character which is I am today. You see, even though that um, it was not easy, you see, even though sometimes I would have feel that um, I don't think that I will make it in life. But the fact at that time, um, there was hope, but even though I didn't know what, what, what I was hoping for, you see, but when the, when the time goes by, while I was inside um, prison, there was these feelings that started to develop in me. Um, hence, I was like sort of interviewing different inmates. And I find myself much more interested into their um, circumstances than mine. And I noticed that many of them, they actually um, wanted to change their lives. But the fact outside prison walls, there's no communities that are, that are there to actually uh, open up doors or arms for them. So then I asked myself that what I can do to be the answer, you see, of, of these cries. Because, I mean, the society does not know these guys more than... I know them, you see. So back then I didn't know that there was God. I know that there was God, but to me it was like, no, God is for their own people. I'm not, the character that I am does not, um, God cannot help me. But then I realized that there's nothing that I can do that is positive than to put him into my life. So from there I find myself praying, um, the sinner's prayer, our Father who was earth in heaven. And at that time I was just doing it as I have learned at the early age while I was attending school. So I didn't know at that time that I was building like a relationship with God. My life now, um, I'm, I'm the role model to many um, South African youth. And Many people, many parents, um, they trusted me with their own children. Um, I mean, God opened many um, doors um, for me. And even when I go to prison, even the prison mothers, they don't look me as like the inmate. They look me as a role model. If maybe, especially on June 16, if they like, would have sort of event um, for the youth, then they will invite me to, to come and be a sort of motivator um, into their program. So I'm so excited and I always say that if I knew what God can do with someone that set him available back then, I would have immediately um, give my life to God. But the fact I didn't know, you see. So for me, like each and every day, I'm so excited. It's like there's something new that is coming. There's something new. I can't wait um, to wake up early in the morning and face another new day. So that's how I feel.